Okay, so let's have a look at part three for the 2021 Soul Trader A. Kennedy. So provide for depreciation on delivery vans at an annual rate of 20% of cost from the date of purchase to the date of sale. Note on the 31st of third, 2020, a delivery van which had cost 42000 on the 30th of 9th, 2016 was traded in. So we got rid of this um, van of 42000 So we want to credit our delivery van's account against the new van which cost 67 so we're going to debit our delivery van's account for 67 so when we credit account for 42 we're going to credit the delivery van account and then we're going to debit our disposal account An allowance of 11,000 was given on the old van so that's going to go on to the credit side of the disposal account the credit for this amount of this for the credit of for this net amount of this transaction was entered in the bank account so that's correct was incorrectly treated as purchase of trading stock. So we need to take this net amount. Remember, the net amount is how much do we write the check for. So the van cost us 67. We got an allowance of 11. So we'll take 11 away from 67. That's going to be the check amount. I'm going to reduce our purchases by that amount. These were the only entries made in the books in respect of this transaction. So four things we need to find out whenever we get a delivery van depreciation like this. One, the value of the fixed assets to go into our balance sheet. Two, the accumulated depreciation to go into our expense in the profit and loss account. Or sorry, the accumulated depreciation to go into our balance sheet underneath the fixed assets. This year's depreciation to go into your profit and loss account as an expense. And then whether we made a profit or a loss from the sale of the asset. So let's do the easy one first. So the first one is doing your fixed asset account. So we want to find out how much to our delivery vans cost us. So we're going to do a petite account. We're going to go and find the delivery van. So the delivery vans cost us 380000 So in here, we're going to put 380000 So we're going to put the balance in. Debit or vehicles. It's an asset account. Then we're going to find out what is the cumulative depreciation. So the cumulative depreciation is the difference between the cost and what's the value of it now? So it's going to be 70,000. So we're going to credit our accumulated depreciation account with 70,000. How do we get 70,000? It's going to be 380,000 minus 310,000. <clears> so that's going to give us 70,000. Then we're going to finish off our vehicles account. So it tells us that we got rid of a delivery van which cost 42,000. So we want to credit our vehicles account of 42,000 and then we're going to debit our disposal account with 42,000. That's the double entry. So we're reducing our vehicles account by putting it on the credit side. And then we're going to increase it then with 67,000 for the new van that we bought. Um, no more transactions. We're going to balance off this account and we're going to find a figure the value of our assets. So we got 447,000 on the debit side. We're going to take that away from 42,000 on the credit side. That's going to give us a balance. So we're going to add these two figures up just to make sure that's to the same and the same. The debit and the credit side. So we're going to bring down this 405 down to the credit to the debit side and that is the value of our vehicles and that's going to go into a balance sheet as a fixed asset. Now we have to look at our accumulated depreciation, our depreciation account. So we have 70,000 already put in there. That's how we accumulated up over the years with all our vehicles. Now we need to find out what is the depreciation of our vehicles for this year and what is the depreciation of the vehicle that we just sold. So if we take the depreciation of our vehicle so far. So this new vehicle that we, we um, so on the 31st of 3rd, 2020, we got rid of a vehicle that was 42,000. So we have three months depreciation because it's 31st of the third, we got three months depreciation of this vehicle that was 42,000. And we bought a new vehicle, which was 67,000. Okay, and that 67,000 is going to be nine twelfths. And then if we sold this vehicle, which was 42,000, and our vehicles were 380,000, so 380 minus 42, that will give you the value of our vehicles that we've left in our yard at the present time. So 338,000 full year, 20%. So this is going to help us calculate what is the depreciation for this year. So it's going to be equals, so 42,000 
Multiply that by 20%, multiply it by 3, and divide it by 12. And you get 210. Then we do again for the vehicle that we just bought. So 67,000, multiply by 20%, multiply by 9, divided by 12, because we only have it for 9 months. And then the total vehicle then 338,000, multiply that by 20%. So 79,750 is the accumulated depreciation for this year. So that's going to go into the credit side of our accumulated account, or that's the, the expense for this year. So in all the vehicles we have, so it is 42,000 that we have for three months. The depreciation for vehicle that we just bought, which was 67,000, so we only had that for nine months. And then the value of all our vehicles that we have Take away the vehicle we just got rid of for 42,000, which is 338,000 by 20%. So that's the profit and loss, the expense for this year uh, for depreciation that goes into your profit and loss account. Now we need to find out what is the depreciation on our vehicle that we just sold. So <clears throat> if we see here that, so on the 30th of 2016, so on the 31st, on the 31st of the 3rd, 2020, a delivery van, which would cost 42,000 on the 30th of the 9th. So this delivery van, on the 30th of the 9th, 2016, that's when we bought it. So from the 30th of the 9th, 2016, to the 31st of 12th, 2016, that's three months. Then we got 2017, which is a full year, 2018, which is a full year, and 2019, which is a full year. And then we sold this on the 31st of the 3rd, 2020, so you only have it for three months. So you're going to add up all the months that we had this van for, or this vehicle for. So you had this vehicle for a total of 42 months. So we're going to take this 42,000, which is the value of the vehicle that we just got rid of. We're going to multiply by 42 twelfths, because there's 12 months in a year. And then we're going to multiply that then by 20%. Because that's the depreciation rate that this company is using to depreciate its vehicles. So in your calculator, let's put 42,000, multiply by 42, divided by 12, hit equals, and then multiply it by 20%. So 29,400 is the value of our depreciation for the vehicle that we just sold. We're going to credit our debit or accumulated appreciation account and then we're going to sorry debit or accumulate accumulated depreciation account and then we're going to credit our disposal account so you can balance off our accumulated depreciation account now because we've all the figures entered in so the debit credit side 149,750 take away the debit side of 29,400 so we get 120,350 that is our accumulated depreciation that goes into the balance sheet in the fixed assets. Then we've got 11,000 of allowance. So the debit side is the highest, 42,000. So we've made a loss on this. We've made a loss of 1,600. So the value of the vehicles are 42,000. We only got, what was it, 30, we only got 40,400. So it's a difference of 1,600. And that's the loss that we made on the sale of the asset. So there's our four figures. The value of the fixed asset for this year, the value of the depreciation for this year, the accumulated depreciation that goes into the balance sheet, and the loss that we made that goes into your profit and loss account.